What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Flashback Player SBC to review today and it is going to be 9 Golden. Now take a moment to look how beautiful this card actually looks. Like easily by the way, one of the best dynamic images I have seen in this game. But with the stats as well, it even looks better. He has got 87 pace with the 94 dribbling, the 90 shooting, the 88 defending, the 91 passing with the 90 physicals as well. He is a 5 foot nine player with high high work rates four star skill moves and a three star weak foot they actually went ahead and gave this guy a skill move upgrade and you know going forward that is going to be huge because creating angles for him is going to be way way easier now when it comes down to the chem style i have gone for the shadow chem style for me giving this guy maxed out pace pretty much is going to be huge especially for a player that i feel like is going to be very aggressive in that midfield that you need to get out to your opponent as fast as possible so giving this guy 97 acceleration and 97 sprint speed is going to be very nice to have now the other chem style you could possibly go for is the anchor chem style if you personally feel like this guy needs more strength then obviously the anchor chem style you know is probably going to be the way to go but for me i feel like that 98 aggression will make him feel stronger than the 83 strength so that is the only reason i haven't gone for the anchor chem style and is the reason i've gone for the shadow moving on to the shooting ability he has got 95 attacking positioning 84 finishing 97 shot power 99 long shots 84 volleys with the 71 penalties as well his shooting ability looks insanely good and has he got any shooting traits he does he has the outside foot shot trait and we all know for a player that's got a three star weak foot the outside foot shot trait is a really nice trait to actually have now his passing ability he has got 91 vision with the 83 crossing the 77 pre accuracy the 97 short passing the 93 long passing with the 83 curve as well passing in general just looks incredible now his dribbling ability he has got 85 agility with the 94 balance the 96 reactions the 95 ball control the 94 dribbling and the 95 composure as well this guy with those dribbling stats should feel very very good on the ball especially for a player that's even got four star skill moves to their game as well now his defensive stats he has got 99 interceptions 93 defensive awareness 99 standing tackling with a 99 slide tackling as well i'm telling you guys right now this guy looks like one of the best all-rounded cards i have seen in this game moving on to the physicals he has got 82 jumping with 99 stamina 83 strength and the 98 aggression as well that stamina is always going to be nice to have especially for a player that's got high high work rates because you know he's going to be needing to you know have a lot of stamina to, to run up and down the pitch like there is no tomorrow now when it comes down to the links for this guy belgium syria not bad not bad at all there's a certain individual this guy gets a strong link with and it is going to be your boy lukaku but we have not got lukaku in this team today we have got lozano hullet and desai just to get him on full chemistry now there's going to be two positions i'm going to be trying nine golden in it's going to be a 4-4-2 in a centered position and a 4-2-3-1 in that cdm position so let's get into the games fake shot nice fake shot well played nine golden with the touch there good acceleration Ball roll, going to go for that through ball, and it is going to be a very good pass. Now, what I want to know is, is he going to give me the passing option? He is, and that's a really good thing to see. Hold up. Trying to create an angle here. He's done so well. Oh, my God. Oh, I actually thought it went in. I thought it went top bins for a second. It was very close, though. Nine goal and don't allow that pass through in the middle. We miss out on the interception. He recovers really well with getting back into the position. And are we going to come out with a ball? My God, the amount of rebounds that I am seeing, it was expected. Expected to us to actually concede there because we literally tackled the ball like twice and we could not get it under control. Nine goal with the interception. Well played. Continue to run. Continue. Ball roll. Pass it down. I've actually sent him on a run here. Oh, I actually thought Coleman was going to be in, but hold up. Hold up a second. That's beautiful. Kem hmm. Interesting. I may have put a bit too much power into it, but he's done well to create himself the angle. Pass it down. Nice. Inside. Green timed. Green timed. Let's go, man. This is what I mean, right? You get him in this kind of angle right here and you go for like a green time finesse shot. It's most likely, most likely going to hit the back of the net. Go press that. Nice, well played. Good interception. He got out to the guy really fast as well. You know what? 
I see an LBY opportunity all the way to the other side, and it's going to be a perfect pass. Can we get a goal off this? Nah, Zambrotta is going to come in with the interception. He does like to go forward a decent amount, but I'm, I am noticing he doesn't like fully, fully commit. And that's a very good long shot. But yeah, that is something I'm noticing while playing him in like a sentiment position. He's not like fully committing towards the open spaces. He likes to kind of sit back a little bit. Pass it down. Nice. Keep it going. I see that run. Go for it. Oh my God. Can he actually get the assist off this? Surely. Foot birthday Royce is going to get the goal. What a pass. And this is what I mean about having a centre mid that can do these kind of passes. You can start off an attack so quickly. It's ridiculous. For that middle. Oh, we miss out on it. Good transition. Really good tackle just to come out with a ball. Nine golden. Get out to him. Is he going to go for that turn? He is. We're going to keep that pressure on. And he actually gets the tackle through the back. Look how quick his transition speed is, though. Like, look at this. Can I get that slight tackle? Oh, my God. I'm telling you, boys. That pace in that midfield is going to be super nice to have. And he actually gets bodied out the way there. So, you can clearly see the strength might be a little bit of a problem time to time. Go for a first time through ball. Look at that pass. What is that touch? Keep going, nine golden. Transition down. Well played. Good interception. Give him the ball back if you can. Didn't really work out, but we eventually got it to him. Run. Keep running. Keep running. Keep it going. Bull roll. There you go. In front of that guy. La Coqueta. Go for the long shot. Oh my god. The shot every single time from a long shot is literally on target. Oblak's had to pull out that kind of save like two or three times now. Go for a press. Get straight into the person. There you go. I like how I tackled, by the way. And then he realized he didn't get the ball the first time. So he instantly reacted to a second tackle and actually came out of it. Turn this. Flick it through the middle. There you go. That's perfect. Can we go for the long shot? Oh, my God. And then we couldn't win the header. Can we get it here? Hold up a second. It's not over. Nah, it is over. My God, that long shot was good. But obviously, it wasn't on target. Through that middle. Well played. Good interception. Decent shielding. Great touches as well. And just ping a ball all the way to the other side. Start off the attack quick. But it is eventually going to get intercepted from R Rusalon. Wait, hold up a second. Nice. Well played. That has to be a goal. I was about to say. And it all started with nine gold, nine golden through ball. But I tell you what. Lozano really fighting for it back. Through that middle. There you go. Good interception. I love his transition speed, by the way. His transition speed through that middle is so, so good to see. Like, it doesn't even look like he's running across it. It looks like he's sliding across it. That's how fluent it actually is. Flick around the corner. La Coqueta. That's beautiful. He's dribbling feels so good as well. That's something I'm enjoying about him. Are we going to create the opportunity to score the goal? We created the opportunity, but we ended up hitting a crossbar. He's turned. He's going to try to pass to N'Golo Kante. We miss out on the interception, but we recover pretty fast and we come out with the ball. But that is something you are going to notice time to time. Because he is a 5'9 player, he will be missing out on an interception in certain occasions. But you know, if you are like a player that is six foot, maybe they would probably come out, with, come out with a ball. But also, would a six foot player be that fast in transition? Most likely not. And what a goal from Kimmich. Go for a press here. Maybe he's going to pass to Mbappe. There you go. We faked it. We acted like we was going to go for a press. Then went straight back into the position. And I'm looking for a pass. But I can't really see one. But I do see a switch all the way to the other side. It's going to be a good pass. But obviously Dest is going to get it first. He's going to give it back to Benzema. Oh, he's done a terrible skill move with, with N'Golo Kante. We've seen it early. We intercept it high up on the pitch. Can we get him an assist here? Come on, Coleman. Well played. No, I tried to go for the double, double La Coqueta, but it didn't work out. Get out to him. Couldn't go for that. Couldn't go for that either. We've missed out on two interceptions there. We've missed out on three interceptions. Can we come out with a ball? Oh my God, the block. The block of dreams. I cannot believe he actually got a block in there. And that was all the AI, by the way. That's not me going for a slide tackle. That was literally all him. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with nine goal. And we came out with a cheeky goal. And we came out with a cheeky assist as well. This card was simply amazing to use. Going forward, he was a beast at. Defensively, he was a beast at. Like, what can this man not do? That's the real question. Now, for only 280k, it's 100% worth it. I can not believe by the way they released a flashback nine golden 
for 280k. I thought if they're going to re release a nine golden, that card is going to be like 500k minimum, especially with how usable he's been in the previous years. But hey, we will take it. 280k for this card. Simple W from EA. Now, I know a lot of people will be asking... Do I believe this nine golden card is better than uh, than foot birthday Vidal? Because I know a lot of people still have that Vidal in their team. And I will answer that question. Going forward, I will pick nine golden 100%. Even though Vidal has the five star skill moves and a four star weak foot, this card right here just feels so much better. So much better. So yeah, going forward, I'm picking nine golden all day of the week. Every day of the week, sorry. But for defensive works, like defensive ability, I would probably still go Vidal. Because the strength on Vidal, I felt like was better than nine golems. And I also feel like that interception reach being five foot eleven is really good over being, you know, five foot nine. It's the fact that Vidal grabs like certain interceptions, which nine golden might might miss out on. So yeah, defensively, I'll go with Vidal. But going forward, nine golden. 100%. But let's get straight into the ratings. Pace-wise, he was an extremely, extremely quick player. So for Pace, I am going to give him, I would say, a 9.7 out of 10. Shooting ability, he had a cracking shot on him. Like, the long shot was honestly beautiful with this card. So for shooting, I would say a 9 out of 10. Passing ability. Passing was good. Like, very good. He, I mean, the long passing was just spot on, wasn't it? And the short passing was also spot on as well. There's not much bad things to say about the passing. I'm going to be real. Like, I can't sit here and say it's like a team of the year Bruno Fernandes when it comes down to the passing because it's not. But the accuracy this guy passes with is beautiful to see. So for passing, I would say like a 9.5 out of 10. Dribbling ability. This is where it's going to be way higher than foot birthday for Dow's. I think I remember giving foot birthday for Dow. I think it was like an 8.3. Or an 8.4 out of 10. One of those. But for this card right here, he just felt so much better. So for dribbling, I would say, I would say like an 8.8. .8. An 8.8 .8 slash an 8.9 out of 10. He feels so, so good in game. And when it comes down to defensive stats, as I said, there was certain interceptions that he did miss out on. But the tackling ability was really, really good. And there were certain occasions where I wasn't even controlling him. And he went for a crazy slide tackle time to time. So for defending, I would say a 9.4 out of 10. And for the physicals, it's going to still be a good rating. But it's not going to be anywhere near, I would say, Vidal's rating. So for physicals, I would say... I'll probably say like an 8.7, 8.8 out of 10. For a 5 foot 9 player that plays in that midfield, the physicality is still top tier. But an overall rating out of 10, boys, I am going to give 9 golden. I would say, oh, I would say a 9.3. A 9.3 out of 10 for your boy 9 golden. Hey, he deserves it. He's an amazing, amazing card. And which one would I pick in my team over, you know, over 9, go nine golden or Vidal? I would probably go for nine gold. And even though Vidal's better defensively, I still feel like that attacking ability is just so much better than Vidal's. And it just makes it so much more worth it. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.